party section, I'm seeing different party supplies that are not Dollar Tree items. They have different things. There's plates. Napkins, the plates. And they have the dinosaur plates too. So those are not Dollar Tree items. They also have these other napkins. Good times and tan lines. That's cute. They also have some Disney Princess mini snack pails. New artwork. Um, it's like a shadow box type. Cute new artwork. This one says, I ride a unicorn. This one says, I do what I want. Very cute. New hard candy. This looks like a blush. Yes, blush crush bake blush. This is a new soap. Uh, charcoal eucalyptus plant-based soap sulfate and parabrite free they're saying it's vegan from company sugar soap works never heard of them before being apple cinnamon and the premium fragrance oils in this location West Islip has all of them well I don't see eucalyptus but they have everything else flavors of the Victor Allen's ice lattes. This is maple pecan. They have the peppermint mocha and I'm seeing vanilla. Not vanilla. Yes, vanilla and mocha and then caramel. Passed on this many, many times and I tried it the other day. Oh my god, I ate the whole bag. I'm not buying it again. It was delicious. I really enjoyed it. I would have loved it if it had raisins in it. You could always add raisins to it, but if you have a problem, stay away. Trust me. I'm looking for a peppermint bark focus camera. They have these peppermint bark cups. I'm going to stay away from that because I love peppermint bark. They have the giant Mickey Mouse um, candy canes. I already called these. This is the SpongeBob's version. I was just looking to see if they had any other candy for the hot cocoa bar. Um, they do still have more of those marshmallows. And the third shape that I couldn't find when we were doing the haul is the snowman. So it's um, Christmas tree, a candy cane, and a snowman. I have five bags. I think I'm just going to stick with that. And they do have these Bratz hot cocoa flavored um, candy canes. But I, I'm, I got them before. I'm not going to get them. I was just looking to see if there was anything else I could use. They brought these back. But the only thing is whatever is inside is not really moving. So even if you could take this back and uh, put your own picture in here, these things don't move that well. They're like stuck in space, so I'm just sharing. Never seen this before. This is from Great Sense. It's a charcoal odor neutralizing beads. The container really, really is cute. So this is definitely new to me. Only finding the Zach Star Wars mugs. I'm in Farmingdale on Route 110 by Adventureland. I'm seeing the soy sauce for the first time and it's a large bottle. Um, I think I've seen this soy sauce before but I've never seen this brand before. I'm not sure if it's a name brand. Hi guys, I'm back with another Dollar Tree. How you doing? Um, things are going, things are going, 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 going. Going, going, going right now in Dollar Tree. So, um... Everybody is in full holiday shopping mode. Even in the stores, it's full Christmas. 
I mean, it has been for quite some time, but it's full. They've been playing holiday music. I just left Home Depot. They're playing Christmas music. I was able to find more of the Crafter Square seven-piece brush set. I'm happy because I was worried about this because I went to quite a few locations and I was able to find them in Lindenhurst. So it's a seven-piece brush set. So each guest is going to get their own brush set. So... I bought six, but I already have one. That's seven. Well, I have an extra set. So I was happy about that. I was able to find the art palette. Now, I do like the bigger round ones that they have out now. Um, I think that would be more suitable. It holds more paint. However, if they're $1 a piece. And I still have to buy the food. Tablecloths. You know, so I'm really, you know, so this comes with six. So what I did is I got two. So if anything, they can have two, um, two palettes, okay? And I was only able to find one of these. I need two more. Um, because the wooden gingerbread house, if you've seen it, it just comes with the string to hang it on the wall. They can hang it on the wall, but they might want to display it and put their trees around. So I want more of these easels. Now, they did have more of the larger one, but again, they were a dollar a piece. I'd rather get a two-pack, and this should hold the gingerbread house. I'm actually, it's only held in with uh, these little twist ties. So I'm going to see how it sits up, because I would like each guest to have the same. I don't want to have Mitch match easels i would like each guest to go home with an easel and if i can get two easels for a dollar that's better for me i think i'm good on the paint i think i'm good on the paint so i got a black paint you never know someone might want to use black paint um yes because we have the red truck ornaments and stuff like that we need black paint for the tires so um i didn't think about that till now i got another brown paint and i picked up these glitter paints from Crafter Square. So this is the green, gold, silver. I should have got another red. And red. I should go back and get another red. Lindenhurst was fully stocked on paints, thank God, because I was saying to myself, oh, I'm not worried about the paint brushes. I'm not worried about the paint. They'll be there, but I guess everybody's doing their crafting, and with the kids out of school, they're probably really doing their crafting. So I am on the hunt for these. I don't want to buy a case of 36 on the website. No, I do not. Um, so, and I might have some. So I'm going to see if I have some. But I want everybody to get the same one. You know what I mean? And I did get this gold ribbon because I need it for my hot cocoa bar. So I needed that. For the hot cocoa bar, I can't wait to show you guys. I'm still working on it. I got these plastic clear plastic tongs so they can get marshmallows they can scoop up and the tongs is like a spoon and a tong together and you get four in each pack so um i'm gonna have chocolate chips so they can just get their chocolate chips and stuff like that without touching anything that was my father-in-law sorry so yeah this is perfect okay i might not even need all four i might just need two um i did pick up this green table runner. Um, they have it in green, red, and white. Okay. Um, I need this for the area where I'm going to have the hot cocoa bar. I don't need it quite as long, but it's a dollar. Uh, for candy, I just picked these. I've only picked up one pack. I don't even know why, um, but I just picked it up. I don't even know who makes this. It's just many... Uh, chocolate bar says happy holidays I just picked up this Colgate sensitive Mr. Fuller likes that and the makeup department not really seeing much guys but I did see this baked hard candy blush and um, I picked up two of them glow all the way and it's color is 125 living doll so we'll see how that works out and that's something that I have seen people haul a while back, but I've never found it in any of the Dollar Trees that I go to. Oh, 
Okay, so this week's DIY is going to be the um, two-tier tray, which is going to be so pretty. I think it is, at least. And um, next week's DIY, I am going to be... Now, y'all know I talk junk about Dollar Tree's struggle trees. I am going to be doing something with these. I have been enjoying... Um, the fellow YouTubers that are craft queens. Okay, I called myself a craft queen. Honey, I am not a craft queen. I am in remedial class. These ladies are doing their thing on YouTube right now with the Christmas DIYs. I found this channel called Vivian's Romantic Home. I think that's who she is. Honey, she has a video that's close to four hours long doing a hundred Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. I wish I would have found her a long time ago. Um, and she even has a Facebook group that I joined this morning. Um, so I'm really, really excited because we can get inspiration from each other. A lot of times when I'm at a higher end store, and when I say higher end, I do not go into Saks or Home Goods or nothing like that. I'm talking about a Marshalls or Burlington. Um, even that snowflake I seen at Dollar General for eight dollars. Your girl did not want to pay eight dollars, but it was gorgeous. When I'm in those stores, a lot of times when I see something, it inspires me to try to recreate it at a cheaper price. Even though with the time, the energy, the money, you probably spend the same thing sometimes, not all the time, but it's still fun personalizing something, having something in your home that no one else has. So I am loving the Christmas DIYs. Check them out on YouTube. And if you just put in the YouTube search bar, Dollar Tree, um, Dollar Tree Christmas Tree DIYs, so many videos are going to come up. People are hanging these upside down and use, hanging them on the wall like that. Um, people are making centerpieces out of this, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a table centerpiece. And had I seen her video ahead of time, I think I would have done that for the Craft and Sip. I would have done this. So if this works out well, this will be next year's Christmas Craft and Sip for sure, because this is gonna make a beautiful table centerpiece, okay? So I'm excited about that. So I did pick up that. I did pick up these Betty Crocker containers. These are a nice size, okay, to store food. I made a, oh, a, a great dinner. I'm feeling Aldi's right now, too. I was going to Aldi's every Sunday in a past life, doing all of my shopping there, and then I, I stopped. Now, I'm back at Aldi's. Honey, they have this sweet potato casserole from Season's Choice with pralines on top, and I was questioning it like... Uh, how's that going to taste, okay? I bought that yesterday. I bought, um, they had a turkey breast already pre-sliced. I bought that. Um, they have the stuffing. You know those Hawaiian dinner rolls? Well, the bread used in the stuffing is the Hawaiian bread. Oh my God, this is the best stuffing I ever had in my life. I'm going to be making that stuffing for Thanksgiving. And I made just string beans and I put pork bacon in my string beans you know I saute the bacon first get it like where it's um 50 to 60 percent done then I add my string beans salt pepper garlic olive oil butter string beans is a hit I made the string beans I know this is a Dollar Tree haul y'all don't care about what I ate last night and I finally broke down in this hole but you won't see it because it's in my belly I finally found a Dollar Tree that had decent Hawaiian rolls because Aldi's did not have any dinner rolls. And I found them in West Islip. They had fresh Hawaiian dinner rolls. Now, you only get six, but those rolls are like $4 for a dozen in the supermarket. So I got two packages. I mean, my dinner was everything last night. And I had cranberry sauce, whole berry cranberry sauce. That's my thing. Anyway, so I got these containers just in case they were leftovers. But I left them in the car because I told you guys I can't be bringing things in at once. It's just not worth it. I, I feel ashamed when he goes, to, can I see your trunk? Because he knows. And I just feel like, why do you want to expose my addiction? Why do you want to make me, you know, look like a hoarder or some type of thing? I don't know. I just, I just feel ashamed. But anyway, let's move on. So next week's DIY is that um, 
Christmas centerpiece, and if you want to make it with me, get your supplies now, okay? The Christmas centerpiece from Dollar Tree. Now, to go along with the Christmas centerpiece, okay, and you got to get your supplies now, guys, because they are not going to last. I found these beautiful flowers, okay, and I don't might not put all of them because I don't want it to be too floral, flowery or whatever, I don't, if that is a word. But I found these poinsettias, and they're made with fabric. This is fabric, guys, like a felt. I got one bushel of white. And I got one bushel of the red. I just like these, guys. And I did not see these until today. They could have been out. Maybe you have seen them. I didn't. And I love the berries. And if you don't get these berries now, I mean, it was slim pickings, guys. I got two bushels of the gold berries. And I only got two picks. You know those clip-on picks? I only got two picks. Now this centerpiece is going to go in the middle of my dining room table. I feel like I've been focusing on the loved in so much, but I do have so many decorations for upstairs and I really don't know to the extent that I want to go. If I had it my way, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything upstairs. Like I'm not down there. Nobody's in my living room. Unless I have company, nobody's on the first floor except for my father-in-law and my son and they stay in their room they don't even come out of the room okay but i am going to decorate because the craft and sip i don't have enough space in the loved in for me to feel comfortable and then with the food it's i need a full-size kitchen for the food that i'm making so um it's going to be upstairs so i do have to have so how, how do you have a christmas get together with no decorations i mean last year when they came they said it looked like a, a winter wonderland so how do you go from a winter wonderland to no land you know what i mean so i did get those items i found these size pans and i left them in the car because i would have put the turkey in there or whatever um because downstairs i have a a countertop convection oven it is large i can fit the half trays in it um i love my oven i i, I haven't cooked upstairs in, in a minute i cook everything downstairs and a full meal too um, but this is two poultry pans and this was just placed randomly. This is all that I seen. Um, this is the perfect size for me. This will not fit in my air fryer, but it definitely will fit in my convection oven downstairs. Um, so I got it. But I want to show you something else. I'm missing a bag. Okay. So for my chunka. I got him the Mickey Mouse candy cane to put with his Christmas grab bag. I have not seen these anywhere. Anywhere. This is from Great Sense. It's a charcoal odor neutralizing beads. And inside, you can't probably see it. It's a whole bunch of beads. I never heard of this before. Never seen this before. Um, I got two. I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. I don't know if you could use it for anything else. Um, I did, first time I seen these, I just showed you on the in-store. And I didn't get them. But it's time for me to change my nails. See, this, you know, this lady at the Dollar Tree, very nice lady. They know me very well at the Farmingdale one by Eventually because that's my lunch break spot. They know me very well. And she doesn't like to give me bags. She, I guess, feels I feel bad about paying five cents or whatever. She st stuffed everything in there with the glitter, and I asked her not to, but whatever. Um, I did get two of these. Oh, it's time for me to do my nails, as you see. I started taking them off. So I did get two of these active oval, and I got two of the coffin in the pale pink. I'm really annoyed, man. If I ask you for bags, I'm willing to pay for them. Give me the bags, man. And then I got this deodorant. I know it's small. Why bother? And I finally found the Star Wars cup. The R2-D2 cup. Finally found it. Um, I didn't think I was going to find it. I only got one. They had plenty at the Farmingdale on Route 110. But I'm going to give this to Mr. Fuller for a pen, a pen holder. I don't think this is like a, the way it's designed on the inside. It'd be kind of crazy for a mug. Let me show you. You know, if it, I guess you could, but 
I'm going to, um, you know, he has a lot of pens and all this other stuff for his desk. And I did get another natural under eye serum, and this was the last one. This stuff sold out. I don't even know. Massapequa had some, guys. I want to get there later. I'm having some work done at the house today, so I had to come home. But if not, I was going to go there. I'll check, but I think this stuff is gone. And I just got a scotch tape because Christmas time is coming. I want to show you guys. I forgot to show you in a haul. Actually, I forgot where I had put them, but I found them today. I had bought some beautiful Christmas boxes from Dollar Tree. And instead of doing the clings, I'm going to... Um, I said, oh, these are beautiful. These would be great to frame. And I framed one. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to attach a picture at the end of this video. And hopefully I will be finished with the hot cocoa bar. Today's Monday. Hopefully I'll be finished by Wednesday, guys. Because hopefully I'll be finished, okay? Um, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And I, I'm just excited about the centerpiece. You got to check out Vivian's Romantic Home. Or just Google Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. Her videos are bound to pop up in these searches because that's how I found her. And I'm telling you, I'm loving, I'm really enjoying. I could just sit around, drink coffee, and watch a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY videos. And I would be just very, very happy. And I think that's what I'm going to do when I go into the house. But thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.